its journey in 1933 with just five airplanes, Turkish Airlines now has over 200 aircraft with the same passion and enthusiasm for service and quality that were present at its inception. Always beyond limits, Turkish Airlines will keep its secret of service by matching it with the Turkish hospitality. Please welcome Mr. Ahmet Olmuştur, the chief marketing of the brand, to listen to Turkish Airlines story from the first end. Good morning, all. Uh, welcome to Istanbul. My name is Ahmet Olmuştur. I'm the chief marketing officer of Turkish Airlines. I have been with Turkish Airlines since. Um, 2005, almost like 12 years, and uh, if you look at my title, it's, it seems only I'm responsible for marketing, but it's not. Actually, I'm responsible for all the production planning, revenue management, uh, sales and marketing, and corporate communications. Uh, so I'm going to make you a brief presentation what Turkish Airlines made in the last, actually in 15 years, starting from the 2002 with a great start. Then, uh, what is the Turkish Airlines aims for the 2023, which is the 100th anniversary of the uh, Republic of Turkey. So, um, let me start. Um, yeah, this is our rankings uh, of Turkish Airlines uh, uh, as of today. So, if you, if you have a look at the top, Turkish Airlines uh, staying in, in the top level in terms of flying number of countries uh, as an airline. We fly almost like 120 uh, countries as of today. So in terms of flying to number of countries, Turkish Airlines has been ranking, staying in the uh, first ranking as of today. So in terms of uh, flying to a number of international destinations and also in Europe and the, some other, we have some great rankings, but the most important one, we have a huge network uh, today. I'm going to give you some detail where we fly in the continents. So, you know, Skytrax, you have an idea about that, I'm sure, but let me give you uh, just a quick introduction. Uh, Skytrax is an independent uh, airline ranking company. So, uh, based, off, uh, based on the Skytrax evaluation, Turkish Airlines has been ranking uh, in the first place of Europe Airlines, uh, best Europe Airline uh, in the last six consecutive years. So we're proud of that. So what are the best part of our product? Uh, I'm sure you have a stop in our Lounge Istanbul, which is our CIP salon uh, in Atatürk Airport. But uh, if you don't have a look uh, yet, please drop by when you leave Istanbul. Uh, you see on the left side, uh, we call it our lounges in Istanbul is bigger than some airports in the world. So it is. Uh, yeah, this is where we fly at the moment. Uh, the red uh, printed uh, points uh, are our ongoing and current destinations where we fly in the world, and the blue ones we are planning, still loading. So you see, uh, we are mostly dominant in Europe, and also in terms of connecting Africa to the world, Turkish Airlines is staying in top again. So we fly almost like 50 destinations throughout Africa. So also in Europe uh, and the uh, Middle East and the Far East, we, uh, we, we have a huge network. Also, we fly almost like 15 destinations in the west part of the world, in the Atlantic Ocean side. Yeah. We fly to more countries than any other airline. So what we did in the last uh, 12 years, as I mentioned before, uh, if you go back to 2005, Turkish Airlines, uh, carried out al almost like 14 million passengers, but uh, less than 13 years, Turkish Airlines made it five times bigger, and now we carry out almost like in 2016 uh, 62.7 million passengers, and our aim for 2017 is almost like 70 million. Uh, this is our segments, but the most important one is staying on the left, uh, right type side, which is called the international to international transfer passengers. As having a huge network, uh, uh, as Turkish Airlines have today, we fly to 120 countries. 
So uh, we made a great job, especially in international to international transfer passengers. Uh, in 2005, we had almost like 1.1 million uh, transfer passengers. But now, today, we passed almost like 20 million uh, limit. So uh, this, is, this is one of the biggest segments of an airline uh, which can increase you know, the number of passengers. So this is the most important one. Also, you know, Turkey, uh, based on the 2015 numbers, Turkey, Turkey uh, is the most sixth visited country in the world. So uh, with, the, with the, you know, the beauties of Turkey, Turkey uh, welcomes every year almost like 40 million uh, visitors uh, from all over the world. So we have a huge, also, you know, the international passengers, we call it local passengers, which come and go to Turkey. Also, we have a huge domestic passenger, uh, um, we have a huge domestic passenger potential. Um, what we are going to do in 2017 is uh, we are going to add some new destinations to our network. Actually, we did it uh, in the first quarter of 2017. We started some new two Russia, that's the Russian Federation destinations, and also we started one new in Ukraine. And the most important one, I think, for you, uh, you guys travel a lot in the world. We are going to start, the, uh, you know, the Phuket which is one of the best, you know, the touristic destinations in the world. We are going to start the Phuket destinations, destination in 17th of July, 2017. So this is going to be our new destination. And what we did in 2016, we, all, we started almost like 16, I think, yeah, 60 or 20, no, uh, 12, yeah, 12 destinations, uh, as, you, as you see in the, you know, the uh, lower, lower side of the, you know, the uh, presentation. We started Havana, which is one of the, you know, the greatest touristic attractive destinations uh, for especially, you know, the visitors. And also Caracas, Zanzibar, Seychelles, you know, the Cluj, Romania, Hanoi, Vietnam, Kosice in uh, Slovakia, Atlanta, uh, United States, Dubrovnik, Panama, Bogota, and Ivana Franco in Ukraine. So this is our, you know, the Europe uh, network. We fly almost like every capital of Europe uh, countries, uh, over 100 destinations. Uh, this is the second part of Europe uh, flying map. Africa, Africa, we are very um, keen to, uh, and we, are, uh, we work very hard to uh, connect Africa to the uh, rest part of the world. So we fly almost like 50 destinations uh, in Africa. Middle East, again, we are very uh, good at uh, in terms of uh, covering all the Middle East. In Asia and Far East, in America, we fly uh, 10 destinations. In the United States, in two destinations in Canada. And we start our new destinations in South America. You see Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, you know, the Bogota, Panama, and Caracas. And also, uh, we are really great at the South America in terms of connecting South America to the whole world. Turkey, we fly every, every airport. In cargo, it's not related to you. Uh, we have a tr we have a low cost trademark which is called Anadolu Jet. Uh, today, it's flying domestic, but um, uh, and we feed Turkish Airlines network as of today. Brand value. What we have done? Uh, what we have done in the last uh, twelve years is twelve years is amazing. You know, uh, if you ask a regular, you know, the traveler uh, twelve years ago. Only 20% uh, of people have an idea about Turkish Airlines. But if you have a look at the, uh, today's numbers, it's almost like 60% of people who travel throughout the world have an idea about Turkish Airlines. So we made, three, uh, we made it three times bigger uh, in the last 12 years about the Turkish Airlines you know, uh, popularity and you know, the, you know, the brand awareness. How we did it, uh, you know, we have been sponsoring uh, so many, you know, the football tournaments, and you know, we are the still, we are still the sponsorship of the, you know, the Turkish uh, Airlines uh, Euro League, which is the, you know, the uh, best basketball league uh, throughout the Europe. And we had some, um, we had some, we used, and we work with celebrities, uh, as you've seen in the commercial, Morgan Freeman, and we used some. Uh, you know the popular football uh, people as uh, we did in the last 12 years um, 
this is our, you know, the best part of Turkish Airlines, our product. We're proud of that. Uh, as a result of that, we have been selected as the best airline in the last uh, six consecutive years by Skytrax. Uh, you know, uh, what are the best part of our product is, you know, we have been selected uh, as the best airline in terms of providing the best business class uh, catering. And also, we have a very great, uh, we have a young fleet, almost like lower than seven years fleet age. Uh, we have an uh, evolved uh, in-flight entertainment system. Uh, again, catering, we, we, uh, we used cabin chefs in the, you know, the long haul flights. And as a result of that, we have been chosen the best business class catching airline in 2016 by Skytrax and the third best in economic class catching in 2016 again. We have a, you know, the, uh, you have a hilarious in, uh, you know, the uh, CIP saloon in London, Istanbul. And again, what we have here is, um, yeah, this is, a, this is one of the greatest product of uh, Turkish Airlines. If you can make, connect, if you make a connection uh, via Istanbul, and if you have more than eight hours, uh, we take you from the airport and just show you the sightseeing parts of Istanbul. We call it Tour Istanbul. Uh, so uh, people in the last year uh, made a great attention to our product, almost like we carry out 50,000 passengers in our Istanbul tour package. Uh, what we have, this is a new airport in uh, Taksim. New airport means, I mean, like you can drop your baggage in, uh, in Taksim office. Turkish Airlines, you know, the sub stories, it's so detailed uh, information. Yeah. I think it's much related to you. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we got a call from um, a wine, um, a wine popular man, which, a French man. Uh, his name is uh, yes, Jerome Jar, uh, and also a, a popular Hollywood uh, actor, uh, Ben Stiller, made a call to Turkish Airlines to help Somalia. You know. Uh, to, only legacy airline to, uh, who is flying to uh, Somalia is Turkish Airlines at the moment. So they, they, they call us to make a, you know, the social campaign and to, to carry out, you know, the, uh, you know, some help to Somalia. So uh, we prepared, a, you know, the, we prepared a, an aircraft and, and send it to the Somalia. We call it Love Army for Somalia. And the result is uh, we made so we, we got so many, uh, you know, the rankings in, uh, you know, the trend list in Twitter, in French, and, you know, the, some, part, some other parts of the world. So we carry out, you know, the mobile food delivery points, shelter support, and, you know, the mild donation campaign, transportation and cargo support we provide to Somalia. Uh, if you have a look about, look about, you know, the PR reports, Turkish Airlines help Somalia hashtag used uh, almost like 630,000 times. Uh, and uh, 2.1 billion potential views we reached almost like so we made a great job uh, to help Somalia yeah thank you for being with us uh, I think your program is going to continue with Antalya so and no worries you got rain in Istanbul so you will you will get uh, come across to uh, shiny days in Antalya so Thank you for being with us and thank you for being in Istanbul and we'd like to see you in Turkish Airlines flight soon. Thank you.